We are live, apparently. Uh, okay, get these questions up. Hello, everyone that's uh, joining. Uh, I'm just trying to get these bloody questions up uh, on my computer. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, hello, Ben, loud machine. Uh, ben Champion, Crash, Adam, Frash Rebel, Stein Chief. Uh, official band Goliath, Amy, uh, Reese, uh, Reese from Goliath. What's up, everyone? Still Mage. Hope everyone's doing well. Just uh, I'm gonna keep it live for. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey up, Still Mage. How you doing? Uh, I'm just gonna keep it live for a few minutes. Doctor Frash, Crimson Shredder, Frash Raven. What's up? What's up, Rebel? So, um, what am I doing here tonight? Well, um, I'm doing a live. How are you doing, Ben? How are you feeling after your, um, surgery on your stomach? I never actually got to talk to you about that. Uh, what's happening? Um, I'm Sean from a band. I've got some questions to talk about. Well, answer. Uh, we've got a new single coming out. Uh, in like five days sweet ah good glad everything's all good well good enough to do two music videos you crazy bastard <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get Adam on very very soon um, in a couple minutes and then uh, yeah I'm gonna talk about these questions I've got just uh, hope everyone's doing well I'm excited for the new single, yes, so am I, and I'm sure Adam and Jason are excited to get it out the way as well, get it out there and everyone can listen to it, uh, one of my favourite Riptide, well, one, all the Riptide songs are my favourite, but it's, uh, it's different, it's a little different, that's what I'm going to say, milk was a bad choice, well, it's not milk, it's not milk, look, does that look like milk to you? It's clear. But no, uh, just to set the record straight, um, Fatal and Cage are my favourite Riptide songs. But this one is fucking sick. Jack's here. It did on cam, you doofus. Who are you calling doofus? Doofus. It's ginger milk. I don't think so. Uh, could be. Hang on. Just put my... Uh, what kind of milk have you been drink? Yeah, what kind of milk you've been drinking? Um, hello, Olivia. Um, but now this is the famous orange top milk from my uh, my uh, stream days back when I did Twitch, and uh, everyone was asking why I drink uh, orange milk, and I'm like, it's water. Right, it is. Got an orange top, it's ginger milk. Oh, if you say so, Ben. If you say so. If you say so. It's semi, se uh, uh, semi-skimmed gang. Hello, Maria. Right. Uh, at five past. Five past. Once I see that it's five past, I'll, uh, I'll bring Adam in. Uh, Adam, have you sent a request to join? That's if you're still in the chat. Uh, Maria's here. Emily's here. Oh, hey up, Ben green cap for the win. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's a little fact about Sean. This is not milk. This is water. It has an orange top. Right? This is what I actually drink. Right? It's lactose free. <laughs> Alright? So, and it's, yeah. That's some strange looking milk. It's not it's not orange juice. It used to be orange juice. It used to be orange I I do this every time I do a live. People are like, why are you drinking milk? It's like it's not fucking milk. Are you lactose and tolerant? No, uh, I just do it um I'm not, but I just drink it anyways. Right. Um it's five past. Adam's gonna come in and we're gonna answer these questions uh hang on fatal yeah fatal's playing 
in the background, but if it gets too loud. Hey up, Tom. Owen. Hey up. Hello. Hey up, pal. How's it going? It's going all right, man. What about you? How's everyone doing? Everyone in the chat. Hang on. Uh, hang on. How does this work now? <laughs> you should be able to see my shiny face. On yes. Good. I see you. Good. I can see you and all. Got a... What's up, Finn? Yeah, what's up, Finn, man? It's been a while. Hope you're doing good. Hey, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. Everyone drop some fire emojis or whatever they're called in, <laughs> the, in the chat. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm waiting on. I can't do that because my phone's on charge. So if I touch it, it's going to... Hi, <laughs> nice place, John. Excuse, excuse me, Johnny O. The cheek. <laughs> uh, bloody hell. But yeah. Wow. Lots of people in the in the chat. <laughs> yeah. So So Do you wanna uh, what what are these questions? Uh I've got I've got a few. Um one of them does relate to inhuman, which is good. So I guess I'll ask that first. Let's see. Um, biggest influences but inspired inhuman race smile emoji. Hmm. Well, I would say that it's quite a punchy song with, like, it's very um, bouncy. And I think I've got that inspiration from, like, um, I, I don't even know, like... Fast brash. <laughs> yeah, like, fast... It's got fast and slow bits. It's got, um, it's very aggressive. Yeah. I think it's more, it's one of the, it's one of the tracks that we, that's like punch in the face. We started, we started playing these. We, we, we used to, when we, when we played gigs, we, uh, play, we used to start with this quite a lot to just like set the tone of the, uh, kind of tell people like, right, we're riptide. Here's a song yeah. for you. You know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, uh, make your mosh, then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. But, um, so that's that. That I think just like general. Th I'm not really sure. I I wrote it so long ago. I wrote it when I was 15. Yeah. But it just took so long to get out. But just like the thrash that I was listening to at the moment, at the, then. Was I like what bands um, you were listening to, just like, just the new newer thrash bands, um, Lost Society, uh, yeah. and oh. yeah, I think Lost Society quite a like old school Lost Society. It's, well, well, when it's got I, that vibe. Yeah. Well, when I met you, like I think that was when you were like knee deep in Lost Society. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Good things come to those who uh, that wait, Papa Frash says. Yes. And it's only another <laughs> five days. Well, less than five days now. So. Yep. You know, just, it's coming. They're all going to love it. I'm yes. I'm pretty does. sure of that. We've yeah. spent we spent such a long time trying to get it out. Um, and I think I think this it was the right time to put it out. We've, we've went through a lot of, like, production issues and whatever. And... And now we're, I think we're at the right, we're, we're at the point where we're able to, so, and it's yeah. the best, the best, you know, quality. Yeah. It's the quality, there's a quality product that rather than, that, you know, we could, we, that's, that's why we've just like been working on singles so much to, just to keep, just to, so we can control what we're, I mean, you're, you're probably a bit better at talking about that, actually. Well, but like. I, I I would agree, really, because obviously, um, pandemic going on around the world, you can't really exactly. You know, we've we've uh, we've got something coming, but obviously we can't go and like like back in the day, like exactly. Uh, back in the we we day. well we we recorded the drums. We recorded all the drums for how many songs? Six or six songs. Six songs. Yeah. And yeah. we've we got all the drums done. Like when was that? Like. How long ago was that? That was like that was, that was um well this October it'll be like two years. Um 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and so it's been, it, it's just been like, we've had these drums and we've tried stuff out and it hasn't worked. And, but so we, we've got the tracks and yeah. now we've got kind of the, the setup and yeah, the, you know, we've Lots got time to do it. And yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and because, and uh, obviously Sean has produced the song. Um, so it's going to be the first track where Sean's produced the song. Finally. And uh, yeah. I think, I think you'll all love the production and I think it'll just, it'll, it's, it's going to be, it'll be really good. I mean, it's got yeah. a lot of ginge in it. There's a lot <laughs> of ginge in the um, in the mix, if you get me. That we've been lacking right. for. Like some bands look for more punch, more fatness, whatever. Just more ginge. Look <laughs> 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 at the ginge. Wait, so we see, have, have a look at these comments. Let's go. Um, apparently, apparently, uh, Ben's jealous of your. Uh, oh mug. yes. <laughs> this. It's a it's a beautiful mug. Um, <laughs> it's very aesthetic, and it, it holds a lot of tea. So a lot of tea. <laughs> exactly. Good and Portuguese coffee. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> the best. That's that shit strong, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember when actually we did. We I came round to record to help record vocals for Inhuman. And um, what do you call it? And you were like, Sean, try this out. Like it's Portuguese stuff. And mm -hmm. I was just like, I felt like I was in Narcos or something. Like I was gonna <laughs> like, yeah. I, was, I felt like um, I was I don't know. And as soon as I drank it, I was like, fuck. I was wired for like two days. <laughs> uh, tea or coffee, Jack? Is Definitely this coffee. what tea and tea in here or tea or coffee? This is uh, tea, uh, and I I like I like coffee and tea. Probably equally. Uh, coffee. Uh, I'm, yeah. I, I basically run off of coffee these days. So, uh, <laughs> like coffee and water, and then like one meal a day. My, my, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, one meal a day. What uh, about uh, Mountain Dew? Oh, uh, I, I, uh, I fucking. I, I used to go through changes, uh, like phases of what sugary drink I liked. <laughs> Um, so when I first met you, it was obviously Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. That summer, that summer, ah. that summer, like, um, I remember me and my nan were shopping once, and she was like, what drinks do you like, Sean? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, because I didn't, I didn't want her spending loads of money on me. So I, I told her Mountain Dew, and then the next day I wake up, and there's like a big 20-pack <laughs> of, like, the, the shops would buy to put on their shelves and she's just gotten one of them and just put them all in the fridge so I was like all right I'll try this and um boom <laughs> but then it was like mango rubicon mango oh uh, uh, yeah i remember Coke. i mean those i remember you coming to rehearsals with that pink what is it that purple friggin adidas bag oh, just having two bottles of mountain oh, dew in there and hang on a minute <laughs> hang on where is it He's gone to get it, lads. I like your pajamas. They're not my pajamas. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are pajamas. Got to keep them warm. Got to keep them warm. Oh, let's have a look at the comments. Hold on. Um, so, oh, uh, Papa Thrash, I would love to try this Portugal coffee. It's Delta, Delta coffee, um, Delta cafe. Go onto Amazon. You can get it. And uh, it's it's proper nice. I have the um, Delta Platinum. It's very good. Um, so, send us few spoons of Portuguese coffee in an English, in an English in the post. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know what you mean exactly there, uh, Jack. But we I I can try. <laughs> Oh, in an in a envelope. In, in an envelope. envelope in the post. Well, that's what Amazon do. That's what Amazon do, yeah. Um. <laughs> Bad news. I've lost the... I've lost the um, what do you You've call lost it? the pink bag of... of the purple bag. Thrash. Purple, yeah. purple thrash bag. I had that since I was like nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked off, it's gone. Uh, and I, I mean, we went through a phase where we'd... 
I'd buy loads of monster, what are they called? Monster Hydro. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, like, yeah. From like some cheap shop and you could get like 50 of them for like 15p. <laughs> and yeah. uh, we just like have them on stage. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did that like twice though. No, we didn't. I used to buy that all the time. Oh, I, 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 I mean, I was, really, I was, I was in my party phase back then. Oh yeah, you I were was drinking. I was you like freaking. Were. You weren't. He wasn't drinking the Monster Hydro. He was drinking. No, I was. I was. Um, while you were, while you were getting them out of the box, I'd be at the bar, like right. <laughs> I'm getting the lift home tonight. It's good. I'll just have this. You know, you got enjoy. Um, oh God. Uh, Jack actually asks favorite monster. Now, I haven't drunk monster uh, since last summer. Uh, yeah. But uh, when I did used to drink monster, I think it was um, the mango one. <laughs> yeah. Mango. I don't that, remember. The name. I I had a phase when I would just <laughs> uh, that's all I would drink, like literally. And now I can't I, I can't drink it anymore. <laughs> yeah. But, the the monster hydro, though disgusting yeah. as Owen says, I I agree, it but it like it like fueled our shows, yeah. it really well, did it for like to, a bit. It used to. We might all be drinking bloody two litre cartons of fucking water next time we do a gig. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, um, <laughs> all right, hang on. I'm are the mysterious? Are the mysterions? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why this happens with my glasses, but if I take them off, I can't see. So. No, we cannot see. I can verify. These are new glasses as well. I, um... if, if we had a tenor, right, for every time you forgot to bring your contacts with you, yeah. and you'd be like, I can't see. It, it, if, if anyone ever is at a show and I haven't got my contacts, I, I get like real like anxiety of like, is someone like waving to me right now? Because I can't see. Or are they doing that? Yeah, yeah, or they're doing that. Uh, so I don't. I, if if I, I'm sorry if I if I accidentally don't bring my contacts to a show and then I can't see anything. He's not ignoring you. He's just blind. I mean, exactly. He's just blind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know why this happens. I have a ring light, and yeah. now I've just got two. It's not even green. It's white. But what happens? Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah. That's cool. Um, oh, someone uh, music v mu music v headbang. But how old are you guys? Well, how old are you, Sean? Mentally, I'm still sixteen. <laughs> but outside, I'm uh, twenty one, going on yeah. twenty two. And I'm twenty, so just so everyone. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I got another question, right? Go on. Favorite song that we've released so far. So what um, song that uh, we've released so far? I think that the ones, uh, the ones we've released so far, my favorite one is Smoke. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, probably Smoke. I think it's just so, um, it just, it proper punches you in the face. It's like relentless. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. What about you? I've a uh, I've a cage of regret or fatal retribution. Yeah. Um, I I love all the songs, but like uh, fatal to me is like um, very classic eighties. Like, yeah, yeah. Crash in the sense of like you know the bands that would start with like cleans, heavy cleans. Like it's got the dynamics in. Yeah, definitely. Whereas cage just reminds me of like. Yeah really dark aggressive um angry fresh <laughs> so they're both yeah. quite, there's a contrast between them both so those are my two favorites <laughs> yeah man we um yeah that they're, they're the uh wait what's other people put cage cage or masters i really love masters but um yes. i uh i'm just i i we really want i want personally I really want to re-release it as a like a, a new a new track at some point because back then it was like yeah new like up done like done up but yeah. uh, and um, but 
we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, I'm glad you you guys like it. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah. There is um there is another question. It's quite interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> alive, alive or dead? Who would be the mu the musician? Sorry, you'd most want to collaborate with. Collaborate with. Yeah, alive or dead. So any any musician. Oh God, you go first. Oh fucking hell! You had to do that, didn't you? Um, Wait, can I guess? Is it Lenny? <laughs> I wouldn't even. I would if it was Lenny. I wouldn't even bring the bass. I'd just be his roadie or something. <laughs> I'd just be, uh, I'd just be a fucking roadie or something if Lemmy's there. Um, but uh, alive or dead? Uh, <laughs> well, since since we have um, a guitarist issue at the moment, I'm gonna say Dimebag. Dimebag, yeah, that's cool. Because <laughs> like I've I've been watching videos of him lately back in, uh, and they're all like pixelated and stuff. They're all like VHS tapes. But um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, what do you call it? Where fucking Dimebag plays for fucking Riptide. It's like, he can just play by himself. <laughs> we, we wouldn't need to do anything. He can just play all the songs himself, you know? Yep. <laughs> um, oh, for me, that's all. Oh. Um, maybe like, I don't know. I really don't know. You don't know. Um, I I thought you'd um I thought you'd go with like Gary Holt or something. Gary Holt, yeah, that's good. Or Alex Skolnick. Yeah. Any yeah, you yeah any of them. Yeah. Uh, Rand, uh, Randy. Randy. This says Randy Rhodes. Randy Definitely. Rhodes, yeah, that's a good Definitely choice. Rhodes. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guitarist, isn't it? Um. But nah, definitely fucking Dimebag. Uh, I would collaborate with Chuck Sheldon here. He was pretty cool. Obviously, death. Yeah. Uh, I've got a question here, but it's uh, mainly for me. And it's uh, main influences on your bass playing. Oh, and the other guys. So, your, so what are our influences? Oh, Jesus. Like, it's a hard-hitting question. Um, <laughs> you go first. I need to think. Okay. Okay, Adam needs Adam needs a timeout. Um, so for me, as soon as I picked up a bass, because obviously originally I wanted to be a guitarist, I wanted to be like James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett and many other great guitarists. But once I picked the bass up, uh, I wanted to be like Lemmy, because like he just nailed it. He just owned being a bassist. Um, Cliff Burton, obviously. Um, Jason Newstead, because uh, he's just absolutely crazy back in the Unjustice for All era. Um, uh, Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath, because some of the bass lines he played were fucking crazy. Yeah, definitely. And, and um, I want to say uh, Jeff Waters. Now, even though he's mainly a guitarist, a lot of the Annihilator albums, the bass has actually been um, recorded by Jeff. And really, yeah. yeah. So when I hear like a really cool annihilator bass line, it's most likely been done by Jeff. Yeah, yeah. But, but I say like those those guys. Yeah, definitely. I think for me, but people like Dave. Mist well, for my performing, I mean, I've, I've, um, people like Dave Mustaine, obviously. Um, <laughs> correct. Um, and for playing style, like Dave Mustaine, uh, um, Alex Skolnick, um, oh. who else? Hetfield, definitely. A, and, lot of, a lot of people say you, uh, that you're a lot like the early Hetfield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else? Uh, for, uh, I mean, other guitarists that I like, uh, people like... Joel O'Keefe from Airborne. <laughs> he is freaking mental. Uh, you know, he's just like crazy, crazy. If you ever seen Airborne live, whether you like him or not, they are like crazy, crazy good, good show. You know, so. Um, Bro. But yeah, uh, what else in the comments? Uh, oh, Owen's got a question for you. Go on. 
Owen asks, how does that Kemper of yours in the back work exactly? So he spotted your Kemper. Um, okay, right. How does the Kemper... Right. That is for another video. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how it, most things work on it. We I know how to turn to, it on. We both had to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... it's, it's I, I turn it on and all the, all the presets are there for me. And yeah. plug it in and it's... It's working. That's, I, honestly, I'm not very good. I need to figure out how to... How to plug it, it in and it works. It makes noise. Yeah. yeah that's, exactly. That's one way. Um, oh, I've got another question about Inhuman here. Go on. Uh, how did the writing process for Inhuman differ from other tracks? Well, the thing is, with, with these first few songs, we, they I wrote them so, so, like so long ago. And they all kind of happened so close together. Yeah, well. yeah. It came, it came as like a, like all of them really like, it was like before Riptide as well, I was writing songs. And then like, just as we started, I had a few songs written and then I just wrote like, you know, a load more. So it, it, honestly, it was so long ago now as well. It's just it took so long to get them out because we were like really young and we had no money, and we've yeah, you know, yeah. we had loads of different different things like that. So um, that, that it was pretty much the, what I used to do and still do. I have this really terrible acoustic guitar um, in my in my kitchen, and when when I when I'm like bored, I just like sit and play that. And just like all the best Riptide riffs have been have, have, have uh, happened on there, so it's like my lucky guitar. And <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, I, and then I'm like, whoa, that's sick. And then I go and just like track it in Pro Tools, and then just work from there, really. And that, and then um, yeah, and that's 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 uh, really what I do, or what I did do. I haven't really, you know, it's, it's, I've just, recently I've just been writing riffs and working on other things as well. Yeah. So it's like, it's more about putting them out now properly yeah. rather than the writing because the writing was done so long ago. Um, but yeah, let's wait. We need to go back because there's, there's questions we missed. Um, um, if you re-release Masters, will you keep the current version on Spotify? Maybe, but that that's, yeah. <laughs> We we don't even know. We have to do things one thing at a time. I probably yeah, yeah. we probably would because the more it's, stuff on Spotify, the better, really. And, and it's and it's like a demo. It's like exactly what, by the time it, it was that that was the main thing as well. Like back in the day when we when we first started, it was like we need a song out, yeah. and we need to we need to get it out so we can play shows because no one will book us. If we don't have a song, yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> so and, then, and that and, and and the main focus then was just playing and getting out to people, and then and like almost like the putting the songs out was like the it was like the hardest thing because it was the most expensive thing to do, and we um, had like hardly any money. We spent it all on on freaking yeah. gear. Yeah. So yeah. like, <laughs> well, um, once we got that song out though, back in twenty eighteen. We yeah. brought was out the first time. Obviously, back then, it was like the best sound we had because it was like the only sound we had. Exactly, exactly. Back, yeah. Obviously, things changed since then. But when we released that, that one song got us gigs for like a year. Exactly. A yeah. year or two. And that, and that was, the, that was the main focus for us. We wanted to just play songs. We had the songs, but, you know, it just cost so much to, to, yeah. to, to do it. And, you know, like, and, I, and I've always thought that, you know, we're a 21st century band and if the, you know, the production needs to be at a certain level. And in my opinion, like in our opinion, it was just, we didn't want to release songs that weren't as best as we possibly can yeah, could yeah. do it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, but yeah, that's, that's, that's why things have took so long, but we've got like a, um, what's the word? Like a work ethic of like, yeah, yeah. you know what we're doing now, a turnaround. You know, so. what we've what we've kind of done. I know people yeah. like to hear about like the behind the scenes kind of yeah, stuff. Definitely. It's like we've both. Um, I think even Jason has as well. But we've all kind of like um, spent a good bit of money 
on our own individual setups uh, at home because obviously we're working from home really yeah yeah that's, so, that's so it's something like invested in. obviously you've got your kemper i've got like a thing here that's got like 100 channels and it makes yeah. you it makes you like portuguese coffee and everything <laughs> and i've got like four or five different digital audio workstations on my computer <laughs> yeah so and, like... and we've we found like a formula of like you know yeah. getting the get recording the drums and then doing basically the rest ourselves and yeah uh, and pushing for you know trying to get the songs out because we can't we can't gig now and that, that so like when when we uh when lockdown happened, we were like, right, we need to figure out how we're going to put songs out because that was a big problem of ours. Yeah. We, we tried only, loads of times. We, like, we only had one song done, didn't we? <laughs> exactly. Which was and fun. I knew, uh, we, we all knew that, you know, people wanted songs, but it's just, you know, people's, I, I get this all the time, every day, basically. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't have an album, where's the album? And the answer is, we can't, the, in my opinion, you know, in my this is just what, what I think for for underground artists. So this is some advice. Um, you know, for me, um, in my opinion, that is that when when you release an album, when, I, when if we released an album, yeah, we, we could if we had ten songs on the album, we paid a lot of money for for the album. Then yeah. we've released the album. Everyone goes, yeah, that's great, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it might like like it and. Yeah, which is great, but then we don't put anything else out for like you know maybe another two years or something. Yeah, we, we, um, yeah. we ran out of money for one. We we've got no more material left too, and whereas like you know nowadays we we want to stay like keep putting out stuff because if we had an, it doesn't matter if it's an album or a single or an EP. After you know a, a couple of weeks, it's like, where's the next one? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. We want another album. We've got this album now, and that's it's not you know that's just the way that's what I think anyway. It's not it's you know I'm sure albums do work, but that's that's we want to push singles for now just so we can keep pushing stuff out. You know, and, and in a, in a um in a send like a, a way that we don't get too stressed either. You know, so yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. Because it's like you can, you can have like the same, if not better, effect uh, by being like a smaller band but releasing singles over time, as opposed to just like throwing out something. Well, not throwing it out, but you know, making something and then just throwing it all out at once. It's like we're um, uh, just we just think that doing singles is more beneficial for us at the moment. Yeah. Because obviously, exactly. we, can't, we can't really uh, meet up at the moment and write like a full album we don't have the we don't have the um the the means like we don't have any we don't we just don't we can't do it it's not feasible for us to um to pl to record like you know pay pay money properly to do it properly and to go in the studio for you know two weeks or whatever uh and sit, write the songs, do, um, uh, rec and record everything. And it's just like, there's no, it's really hard to do, you know, and it's expensive. Like, it I, and I'm, I, you know, I'm only, I'm only talking like, this is like underground, you know, this is what, how, this is my head, you know, the riptide head. You yeah, know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, hold on, someone's, what was this? Uh, Ben's got a good question. Go on. Uh, so, here's a question: Are you sat on any material you haven't yet had a chance to record? Do you have a, ch uh, a stockpile of tracks no one has ever heard? Um, um, we do. Yes. We have. We have a. We have a like a good few. Um, but it's it's just like uh, uh, recently I've just been working on more like the promotion and the and the other stuff and just loads i've got loads you know we, there's lots of things that go into making a band yeah. good and like yeah. we do have some songs built up but the I, like the main um thing for the main thing for us is just to 
to get the ones that everyone's already heard out to, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we do, we do have, we do have some songs. We, have a, we do have a few other songs that, yeah. that we've played live before. One which we've never played before because <laughs> we haven't had yeah. that time. Exactly. But, but we have got songs that will come next. But obviously, we yeah. need to get these exactly. tracks because these tracks are the, the these are the six original. Rich yeah, songs. it's like you know when I was like. 15 and 16 when we first met me and sean we uh we had like we wanted to release this like we wanted an album we wanted to do this and like really like properly wanted to do it and we tried yeah you know, yeah it would cost us a lot and blah 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 um but and i we still we still have that um think that we still want to do that you know and uh so we, it's just took ages and it's like we just still we honestly we still want to do it we still want to record a cd we still yeah, make a cd uh make an album and yeah, put it on a cd you know but it's just it's just the way it is at the moment yeah uh, but yeah hey well jason's popped in <laughs> jason oh. in and he says where's the drummer hello he's, he's right there. there yeah he's right there he's in the chat are you drinking anything, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Very probably. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. How's it going? <laughs> After the Facebook ban. Oh. Are you got? Uh, are you guys looking for another guitarist? Um... We will be shortly, but again, right now we uh, we don't have. Um, you know, we we don't we can't gig, and can't gig. You know, and that's the main reason, really. You know, we, we've, and we, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't like go to a rehearsal room and audition or or jam with anyone. So it's like, at the moment, you know, there's no point, really. Like, we, it's there's all the stuff that you know that needs doing, that's that needs thinking about. Over, you want, like, you want know. it to be special as well, like exactly. If, if someone yeah. wants to join your band and they've like looked up to you for a while or whatever. You don't want them to like turn up to their first rehearsal and it's all like right. We're like four hundred yards apart. We can, we've got masks on, so we can't like actually exactly. Do, you know, um, exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've it's it's you know we've got some. We're trying to we're trying to. When the time comes, we will have one. You know, um, we have. Um, the when the t like. We're not, but well, as far as I know, we we won't be doing any shows as a three piece. We've done it before, and yeah. you know, it, it, we definitely need another uh, guitarist to fill to fill that it, out. There's just a um, there's just a uh, what you call it a sound. There's just a certain sound that we have. Yeah, as a, a four piece. Yeah, you know, with the harmonies. As soon as I mention harmonies, Masters comes on with the dual harmonies. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's like the harmony. Exactly, stuff like that. It's just like impossible to do, and it just—it's not full. And and when when I like when I when we when I when I perform with Riptide, I I very I'm, I'm very much into like you know trying to put on a show, and it's really hard to you know I might I might strum chords open to you know to raise my hand and stuff like that, just little things like that make a massive difference to the sound. And if you have another guitarist, you know, making sure that the, the, you know, the rhythm's down, yeah. it makes it, um, you know, like way more, yeah. it fills it out and it gives me less stress of <laughs> like playing everything. Cause we've done it before. I think we played one show as a three piece. It was, like it was a long time York. ago. It was, in a, it was in York. Yeah. And um, it was, I think it was a, uh, the gig we uh, did before Lost Society, or it would have been, it was the first gig of 2018, uh, no, 2019, I think. Yeah, 2019. Yep. So it, uh, and it was the Valentine's Day massacre at yeah, the drawing yeah. board. Yeah. And, um, and uh, we, uh, yeah, we played as a free piece, and it was pretty sick because obviously that venue was so small. So we were like, and people were just like, you know, moshing and jumping around. Yeah, it was it was cool. We we did good. Yeah. I mean, we, we well we played. I think we did. We played all right. It was it's just not what 
we want. We don't yeah, want to be three piece. Exactly. That it, it, the sound is more. You know, we need a son, what's the sonic landscape or whatever the soundscape. It yeah. needs to be full, and it's not. It's really not when we, especially with like harmonies. I love. I really love harmonies. Yeah. Um, they need to. It ma you know, it makes it. That, that's what I think makes the difference of like other bands and us. Like we have a lot of harmonies and. It would just not work with like uh, just uh, just me as the guitarist, but um, yeah, that's Jack. Go, go on. Jack Phil Mage also asks, uh, "Will we do?" No, he says, "Please do tapes uh, and CDs." <laughs> CDs and uh, what cassettes? Yeah, tapes. <laughs> Whoa, there. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could definitely do stuff like that. I think yeah. it's really. I think a lot of people really like that stuff. I'd love to do vinyl as well. Vinyl is a big one. But yeah, that that would be great. We'd love to do it, but um, it's just when the time comes. When the time, you know, we're gonna do this this stuff. Oh, yeah. I think I saw a comment. Uh, uh, what's it? Is this a cop? Is that what the cop? Yeah, a comment. <laughs> <laughs> and um, saying what was it? Uh, I forgot. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, new merch, right? New merch is coming, and uh, it's very, very, very cool. Um, so we, we've got it designed by this guy called El Gatuno, and he is, honestly, it's the best merch we've had, best T-shirt uh, design, um, and you're all going to love it. So, um... But that will be revealed soon. At, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm, we're trying to get them uh, what they call, printed, so, yeah. and, but you know it's Sunday, so I can't. Uh, <laughs> it's an email. Are closed on Sunday. Exactly. So uh, I'll sort. Of, we'll we'll be sorting that out, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll do some uh, do some cool stuff. Long sleeves. You Long sleeves. Try. Yes. Well, Please. he's well. He's got one on, but uh, Don needs one. Um, we're not sure yet. You know, with our budget, they're very. Uh, they are very pricey. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's just. When I know that people, people uh, love like all, I I love all different types of merch, and I re we really want to have you know loads of different things, but it's all you know it's all to do with freaking budgets and you know yeah, making yeah, sure yeah. we make our you know that's that that's what we want to do. But um, like and again, like I'd love a hoodie. I would absolutely love a riptide hoodie like this, but. That you know that the price of them are really expensive, and then you've got to sell them for even more. And the fact yeah. that we only have a few songs out, you know, it, it's it. It's some, a lot of a lot of people wouldn't want to pay the that price. So do you know what I mean? So that's that's something we we've spoke about, but we definitely will in the future. Absolutely, definitely. Yeah. All about. Oh yeah, like it's gonna come, but it's just, yeah. Um, at the moment, you got to take things like one. You step know, at a time yeah like because obviously we've got a new single coming out in like five days so exactly. you know you've got to take things one at a time uh uk frosh just says you just chop your sleeves off anyway exactly that's i mean that's what i do i used to do that <laughs> <laughs> but it, long sleeves just feel better for me yeah um <laughs> yeah on stage i do i've been wearing hoodies recently though keep me yeah. warm um, I'm all about long sleeves. <laughs> but I, I couldn't wear a hoodie on stage. No, no. <laughs> no. Not doing. It's bad. It's bad enough having a fucking long, a long sleeve. On. Like when um when we played with a uh, Annihilator, and you have all them lights on you, so it's bad enough you've got to jump around and yeah. play for half an hour. But you've also got all these lights, and there's all these people in the room that are that's creating more heat. And then you drink a beer and it don't cool you down. It's like, oof. <laughs> why did I wear a fucking long sleeve? Hello? Sorry. <laughs> Low power mode. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's all right, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> exactly. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh. Oh. But yeah, it's... We've got a lot of cool... What the f... What's going on? Like, okay. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, what, what's this? Uh, sleeves are the ben enemy. The yes, ben, the enemy. Ben, yes, you're goddamn right. 
Yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, I uh, I'm all right with long sleeves, but like um, back when I used to cut the sleeves off t-shirts, it just felt better. Like you know when you're playing live and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in the fucking summer. Yeah, man. Exactly. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, That's why the drummer doesn't wear a t-shirt. Exactly. Well, exactly, honest dog. Yeah, like there's a there's like a picture where it's like me, you, Jace, and it's like um, it's like a an evolutionary chart. You've got Jason who wears like, <laughs> nothing. You've got Jason who wears nothing, and to and to be honest, it does look a bit like a caveman, doesn't he? Because he's all tall and um, weird and that. So. You've got Jason, and then you've got you. You've got like your your sleeveless and your ripped jeans and that. And then there's just me with long sleeves. <laughs> so it's like it's like an evolutionary chart. <laughs> oh god, I need to find that picture. And also, put it, put it on the tallest. It goes, and then your second tallest. So <laughs> just going. And you ginger? And I'm and I'm fucking ginger, but there's nothing we can do about that. Even even back when I used to have a buzz cut, I was still ginger. So. <laughs> You know, I can't exactly do a fucking um, a break a, a Heisenberg or whatever. Exactly. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> oh. So. Um. Oh god. Um, I, think, I think that is all my uh, my questions actually that I got. Also, another thing that I've just remembered is that obviously I haven't even spoke about this, but um, Thrash TV. Which is Chris Sutsos his new um, thrash channel. He was the guy for. If you don't know him, he's the Mr. Thrash of the internet. Um, he's. We are releasing the track, the official track, on his um, YouTube channel on Friday. Uh, it's going to be all. It's going to be on all the distribution platforms too. So, but it's just that um, we we wanted to work together and uh, do a like a collaboration. I think there's going to be some sort of, I'm not exactly sure uh, if, if I'm correct, but I need, to, but we might be doing some sort of giveaway, which would be cool as well. So that'll be cool. Um, I'm cool. But yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and so, yeah, that, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, what else? Like, yeah, he was, he was the guy from um, J Hoff films. You might have yeah. seen him in the, um, in the, in the mall in Toronto, <laughs> and uh, he, yeah, he just runs around, like a crazy guy. But yeah. it's great. I've been, I've, we've, I've been watching him for absolutely years, so yeah. it's really cool to be working with him and uh, doing, you know, releasing this track on his his the, channel. Exactly, he's he's, um, he's great. There is another question: uh, If we were able to support any band, who would it be? Oh God! The band. Um, with. Oh God! There's just so many. I know. I've, um. Uh, Jason's put. He'd love to support creator or artist. Oh, I was going to say creator. But yeah. <laughs> I've got to say something yeah, else. Man. Definitely. Um. You want me to go first? Yes, I'm thinking. I, I was going to fucking say create a Jason, but now I'm going to say Destruction or Sodom. I've got another one. Machine Head. Love yes, machine head. but they don't do support acts, Adam. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> three hours themselves. Yeah, an evening with Machine Head. Yeah. Three hour sets. I don't know how they do that. It's insane. What happened? Uh, we, have you, did you? You haven't seen Machine Head, have you? No, I was, I was no. going to the last time they played Manchester. Oh, yeah. But, um... I think I ran out of money or something. I couldn't get a ticket in yeah, time. Yeah. And I was gutted because I really wanted to um, yeah. see. I really wanted to, like, you know, jump the crowd and then stand next to Jared and be like, I'm your son. I am your son. Oh, that was so good. That was so good on your stream the other week when uh, Chris. you were talking to Chris Contus about. You he said you look like him, so that's so yeah, good. A wee bit. I look a wee bit like Jared. So that's better than nothing. If I grow this out and it becomes a handlebar, <laughs> then we're sorted. You know, exactly. If Jared leaves, I'll just be like, no, well, he doesn't have to leave. I could just join him. <laughs> I look like him. You could, you could, exactly. You, wouldn't, you could be like his stunt double. 
exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what you said. Exactly. That would be sick. I'd happily do that. <laughs> Hola, Patrick. <laughs> Saludos. <laughs> But no, Machine Head definitely would be like a, a dream come true. That would um, be cool. Oh, yeah. Emily's just put Machine Head might be mixing shit up, but we will we will see with a little smile. <laughs> please. Yeah, I please. guess I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that would be cool. But um, oh. Oh, what was it? But now, like, um, I still find it crazy that we can say, "Oh yeah, we supported Annihilator that one time." Yeah. So like, that was so good. So it's like, that's obviously a dream that we've done, but I would love if we could play with Destruction or Sodom. Because, like, obviously, two of the three big four of Germany. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> give it just, you know. Uh, any shows planned for after the lockdown? We've, uh, got some, we've got some cool stuff in the, in the, in the, in the well, brains, uh, in the, in the, in the brains, um, but nothing, nothing booked, booked, booked. But um, apart from maybe one thing, which is very large, but uh, who knows? We'll um, we uh, yeah, so not not, not really because it's just it's just so um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. I forgot. Um, it's so like up and down. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. Yeah, it's um, unpredictable. But, exactly. Really. But with the, uh, but yeah, we've got some we've got some cool stuff in our thoughts. Like in the and we're de we're definitely going to like do when again when the time comes. But as soon definitely. as as soon as everything opens up again, we're going to be on it. Like, and that's why we're trying to put songs out. So, yeah, yeah, of course, man. Because this is the time we can do that, and then we can. After will be the time we can play loads of shows. So yeah, with these new songs that hopefully you all dig. So yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I hope I, that. Yeah, uh, I I want it. We want a gig so bad. Like we do. It's really like it's weird. Like not. I don't think I've ever since I was about you know twelve or something. I haven't played a. Sh I haven't gone this long without playing a show. So. I know, man. Yeah. So, uh, exactly so, yeah. Um, what other things? Go back up. Chris is God. Chris Thrash, he is the God. He's the, he's the Thrash God of the internet, of YouTube. Fucking crazy. He's so good. Fucking crazy. But, yeah, we, um, we, we're really excited for that. It's, like, it's, it's, too, it's so yeah. cool to be working with him. Um, but yeah, and uh, obviously he's got his thrashed, thrashed shop and the thrashed like brand up. Yeah, and his 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 caps are like proper awesome. So proper if you like if you like thrashed thrash caps, then like pulling them back like this, being pretty thrashy, pretty thrash, yeah. Check, check out thrashed shop; <laughs> it's awesome. Another brand that you should check out is Mo uh, Mosha Clothing, which Mosha is clothing. another awesome brand. Um, that makes sick thrash merch as well. So they there you do. go, two, two brands for free um, to, to go and check out. They are awesome. And the, Rui, the guy, he's such a cool guy. So, um, or oh, Hui, Hui. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> cool, man. But yeah. yeah. So. I think, I, think, uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it. I think. It's been a good hour. <laughs> yeah, we've, we, I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, evening with <laughs> Sean and Adam talking Adam and Sean about stuff um, about thrash stuff about thrash stuff and we hope you will enjoy the new single we've been um, working very hard on it we've been working yeah like more than you know like we've done we've done we've done a lot of we We've worked really hard for such a long time to get these songs out and, you know, yeah. we, we hope you like it and just check it out um, on Friday. It'll be up on Friday. Share it. Um, and if you haven't already, um, 
please go to the link in bio after this yes and link. click on the pre-save if you have spotify this helps us out like so much it because it, it spikes the algorithm or whatever with spotify yeah. and then we can get we can get reached to more people so if you can do that if you have spotify please like it might take like a minute to like write one minute it, of your life write your password in but please please do it if you can like yeah. we're like i don't want to beg but we're on we're on that like you know um i don't want to yeah, beg so but i'm desperate if you, if you can do it um that would be great uh if you don't have if you don't have spotify it's fine but like that really helps us out um it does but yeah so thank you all thank you sean Oh, it's been a great company this evening. Um, yeah. Always. And um, yeah, and so and to all all of these cool, cool people. Um, yeah. So put some put some fires in the chat. chat. Yeah, and, put some we'll, fire emojis we'll, in uh, the chat. We'll get out of here. <laughs> um, so yeah, the new song will be awesome. It freaking it will. will. It will. will Harry. You're damn right. Fire in the chat. Let's put some fire, fire in the chat. Fire in the chat. Everyone get some fire in the chat. <laughs> Set fire to the to the chat. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, um, you're all you. you're all amazing. You know this. You keep awesome. us you keep us going, and we really appreciate it. So, thank you all. Um, but yeah, cool. I will leave now. Yeah. Let Sean okay. say bye. I goodbye, say bye. everybody. Goodbye. Well, say goodbye to Adam, everyone. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> He's gone. Well, yeah, it's uh, coming up to nine o'clock, guys. So I'm actually gonna head off as well. I hope you enjoyed um, Adam coming in and me drinking water and being a doofus. But um, yeah, hope you've all had fun with this stream. It's been a it's been a good stream. And um, yeah, you're all fucking awesome. The support is amazing. So fucking thanks a lot <laughs> and like adam said if you haven't already then pre-save inhuman click that link in my bio adam's bio the riptide fresh bio and uh yeah i hope you all have an awesome night so until um next time i've been sean in a bit <laughs> riptide forever yes <laughs> in a bit guys <laughs>